Hello, my name is Dan Kernler. This video is part of my statistics series. And in this video, we're gonna talk about different types of variables and then how we can categorize them. So let's get started. So when we look at different variables within a set of data, there are different ways to categorize them which then lead to different analyses. The first way we're gonna categorize them is either categorical, qualitative, or quantitative numerical data. Um, categorical would be things where you're just describing them, color, the look, and then um, qualitative, numeric, would be some kind of counting, measuring, et cetera. Now within quantitative, there are two subcategories. The first is discrete, where we're literally counting one, two, three, four, et cetera. Um, and then continuous, where it typically something is measured. It can take on, the results can take on any value within a specific interval. So to illustrate this, let's look at some of the variables in our school-aged children data set. The first one is residence area, where they live. That's clearly just categorical, just describing where they live. Uh, the second, gender, again, categorical, male, female, just describing them. What about the thoughts on their body? This is kind of a rating here, um, a bit too thin, a bit too fat, just about right, etc. So there's a rating, but it's still just describing them. So that's still categorical. Next, family affluence. Now this is a number, but it's actually a scale like from low to high. So this one's a little fuzzy. We really would have to dig deeper and look at the underlying data to know whether this is really just a ranking or is it a, a number? So we could really treat it as either depending on the context. Days physically active, clearly counting, that's quantitative. And then the last one is height in inches, also clearly quantitative. Now let's look at those two quantitative variables and decide whether they are discrete or continuous. Days physically active is discrete. You're literally counting zero, one, two, three, et cetera. So that's a discrete variable. Height is continuous. Now, you might think, well, look at the inches. They're just 50 inches, 48 inches, whatever, the, it's a number of inches. However, those are rounded values. My height, I'm about 6'3", but I'm not exactly 6'3". I'm really 6'2 and 3 quarters, but that's not exact either. It's really 6 feet, 2 inches, maybe 7 tenths, 3 hundredths, 1 thousandth, etc. It's all rounded. Those are continuous variables. All right, next we wanna talk about levels of measurement, like a level of precision. The first level is nominal. This is just describing it. So these are those categorical variables where there's no order, eye color, gender, political affiliation, et cetera. Next is ordinal. These are still categorical variables, but now there's some order to them. Maybe it's like a letter grade. Maybe um, it's something like on a Likert scale where it's strongly disagree, disagree, et cetera. Little side note here. If you've heard that word before and it sounds weird, you might have heard it previously as Likert, and that's how I always pronounced it. But I learned recently that the man's family actually corrected researchers and said, no, it's pronounced Likert. Who knew? All right, next is interval. So these are numerical, but ratios might not have meaning. So just because one is four and one is two doesn't necessarily mean that four is twice two. Also, there's no absolute zero with these, with interval variables. So those would be something like intelligence quotient, temperature, etc. Okay, the last one is ratio. So if interval didn't have ratio, didn't have meaning, and there was no absolute zero, now these ratios have meanings. So something that you're counting, somebody has twice as many as somebody else, eight is twice four, et cetera, and there is an absolute zero. So those are ratio variables. And the level of precision is downward here. So nominal is the least precise, the ordinal, interval, and then finally ratio. Let's go back and look at the examples we did previously and see if we can clarify whether they, which, which level of measurement they are. Okay, residence area, categorical, this is just nominal. There's no order here. Same thing for gender, that's just nominal. But thoughts on body, there's an order here. Whether it's up or down or positive or negative, it doesn't really matter, but there is an order to the data. So those are ordinal. Family affluence. Well, if we treat it as categorical, like low to high, uh, then there clearly is um, an order there, so that's ordinal. And then numeric, it's tough with the numerical one. 
Uh, because zero, does that really mean their family? What does family affluence of zero mean? Uh, that's a little bit tougher. So I would probably say interval there and not ratio, simply because we don't know what the underlying variables are. If there's something like family income, and then we actually have a dollar value, then that could be ratio. Let's talk about days physically active. That's clearly ratio. If somebody's active six days a week, somebody else is active three days a week, then they're clearly twice as active. And then the last one for height, same. Now you might think here, but there's no zero height. True that no child will have a height measured of zero, but there is such a thing as zero inches, so there is a zero within that variable in theory. So that's it for the levels of measurement. I hope this was helpful. Um, feel free, if you are interested in seeing more of these, subscribe, click on the bell like they say. Um, there's a whole series of these statistics videos coming. Uh, thank you very much for watching.